welcome to my channel everybody as always you know I'm trying to do my best on doing videos about repairs and this is that many trucks I have for repair right now but that one right there is almost done um, engine uh, was replaced crunch was replaced in this case um, engine is running so, but that is not the topic of today. Today's topic is this. This truck right here. This is a 2015 truck and it has a 2019 uh, Cascadia engine. And I'm gonna show you so you can see. Uh, let me see here, 2018, because there is always one year behind. So engines always are one year behind. So the truck is 2019, but the engine is 2018. That's how it was. So this truck right here has a newer engine on it. Um, there is no much to talk about uh, modifications when it comes to installing this engine on the chassis. Since most of the components are pretty much the same, there is no much difference, there is no more um, there is no a lot of modifications we need to do to fit this engine on the chassis. Pretty much the same DD15 engine is the one that is mounted on newer Cascadias, but in a different way. Some components are different. And today I'm going to show you what you need to do. Basically, if you are going to install the engine, there is not much to do except modifications, some mechanical components here and there. So it's going to be very basic replacing the engine from a 2019 truck to a 2015 truck and um, there is components that are going to be different like for example the turbo in this case the engine is being placed completely everything from 2019 is installed on this truck everything is from 2019 truck so the turbo is a 2019 and uh, exhaust manifold this is the newer style with the EGR valve on the back the 2015s have the EGR valve over here and um, this one was placed from the 2015 truck because the 2019 has a shorter uh, funnel here this ball is loose and uh, there is other components then uh, we need to uh, talk about and this is what is my major talk about this video, about this modification. Installing the engine is not a hard part. Installing is pretty easy. There is no much to do. You just need to install the engine and everything is gonna work. Like for example, I'm going to show you the only thing that you have to be sure that you are going to place back from the engine thing was removed was the ECU, the computer right there. That is from the 2015 truck, and that's it. Everything else is 2019. All these components are 2019. Now, I have the ignition on, we had some lights on, but the engine runs. I'm gonna show you. See, engine runs. I haven't modified anything yet besides the mechanical components to see the engine perfectly. That's it. So the computer is the 2015 and the engine is 2019. And you're gonna see, see no tricks. Engine runs, but it doesn't run perfect. And that means then we have lights on. The two lights are on. And as a result, we have these many cuts right here. This one can be easy to repair, but this one right here, we need to work on this. So, we have the intake throttle valve. In this case, the 2019 trucks, they don't come with intake throttle valves anymore. So that one is completely gone on 2017 and up. 
So 2015 has a throttle valve and if you don't uh, know what the throttle valve is the one that opens and closes um, I want to show you on that truck right here on this truck right here see a throttle valve this is a 2015 with original engine but that one is a 2015 with the 2019 truck that's the reason I mean engine that's the reason why it is different so um, what we have to do here is modify the computer so we can disappear all these folds and also we have a problem that I noticed as soon as I start the engine which I'm going to start again engine runs a little a little rougher than why it should be so we have this code right here see fuel rail pressure to high and I was looking at it and I can see that the fuel pressure is higher than the commanded by the computer see this is what the computer is commanding and this is what the computer is reading so we have a 200 bar devi deviation so um, that is no good this is something that we need to address and fix this could be a mechanical problem could be probably when the sensor is stuck or there is a pressure limiting mold and it's stuck close and it's not letting fuel or also the fuel quantity valve is causing this issue I would say then the sensor is okay because as soon as I turn off the engine the pressure goes down normally see it goes down with no problems so that is good because we are not um, getting any issues with the sensor so the sensor seems to be working fine probably the sensor is not matchable with the ECU or there is an issue somewhere else in the fuel system I have to look at that this is a mechanical problem or a fuel problem that the truck has that I need to fix or a modification that I need to do so now what I have to do with these other cuts this one as I said before this one right here is easy to fix this one right here this one right here I need to modify it how I'm going to modify this because we don't have a turbo control anymore um, the turbo control is the one that is located on this area of the engine it was located right here right here it was located right here so the turbo control is going to send air pressure to the turbo weight uh, weight gate over here so it opens and closes when the turbo pressure is not needed but 2019 models don't have this anymore so we have to modify that to modify that uh, we need to go to the parameters here and here on the parameters we have to look for the specific um, for the specific uh, sensors and controllers to actually fix that but this is not something that anybody can do so if for any reason you don't know how to do this don't do it in this case I'm just giving you the idea of what you have to do it is nothing then um, you are going to be able to do easily because you have to look for the specific parameters that we need to modify and if you don't have the DDL software capable to do this it's not going to work anyway but as I say, I cannot give you the details exactly how it's going to be the parameters that you have to modify on the engine if you replace your engine from a newer engine but those parameters are going to depend on what type of fault codes you get in this case we get these fault codes right here so based on these fault codes this is what we are going to modify so we have to clear the codes now and let's see 
what stays and what goes away. And see, that's, this is the way you are going to be modifying um, your computer when you program, um, when you um, install a different engine. So this is the way. I think this one I can fix it because I see that the sensor is not the right or it's not placed properly. See now this one didn't come back on. This one is off. It's a permanent right here because it's in validation of repair. This one is off, but I'm pretty sure once the engine starts running, it's gonna come back on. This one, I have to work on it. I have to get it to work somehow. I wanna, be, I wanna look on different parameters on what I have to do to actually disappear this one. But here you go, an example on what you have to do. A very advanced example, I will say, because you won't find this information so easy on internet. So this is a very risky um, labor to do. If you do it bad, it's going to cost you a lot. And if you do it right, it's going to save you a lot. So it will depend up to you on what is going to be the proper repair. But here you have it. Um, here we have the information that you need to actually modify your truck with a newer engine. And as I say, here we have the example on how it's like to install a new engine. The process of installing the 2019 engine on a 2015 chassis, it is nothing different than any other engine, a DD15 engine, it's not going to vary. But um, it's going to, you know, you have to go to different modifications, uh, we can say, move things here, uh, place some bolts here, because some mechanical components are not exactly the same. That is going to be the only issue. But other than that, everything is going to work as original. Now I have to look at the fuel pressure, modify that and see how it goes. And later I'm going to show you what was the issues, what type of repairs or modification I had to do so that way you can get to understand how it's like to do this so if you are scared of installing it installing a 2019 Cascadia engine on an older Cascadia uh, you don't have to feel afraid because it's possible all you have to do is know what you have to do so I hope this video is helpful for you if you have any questions comment below Go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Moya YouTube. You're gonna see different things that I'm doing. Like the video, share it, subscribe, and always thank you for watching.